Welcome back everybody. Appreciate you stopping by. On my last video, I had uh, a big hackberry tree taken down next to my barn and cleaned it up. And I got a question on that video. Uh, guy was asking about splitting that hackberry. He said it had been a while since he'd split hackberry. Um, I wanted to kind of show you the difference between splitting some uh, very green hackberry and some hackberry that's dried out. Uh, I myself prefer to split hackberry once it's been setting in rounds for a while and the, the sap starting to get out of it. To me it seems to split a little easier. Uh, so we, I got a couple pieces set up here with the splitter and uh, we'll split a couple of uh, relatively green as in uh, it was cut down three days ago and uh, we got some uh, hackberry pieces that I cut at the end of February first part of March so they've been sitting for a little while uh, it's the butt end of a tree and I have it ripped in two so it's it'll be a lot drier than what the other stuff is so we'll kind of split it and compare it and uh, see how it looks stick around all right, so here are our test, test subjects. Uh, this here is the hackberry I was talking about. This stuff's been on the ground since, we'll just say, the beginning of March. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, starting to dry out and crack on the ends already. Um, you know, this stuff's already fairly dry. Um, and then these two pieces here... This is the stuff that I just uh, had cut down three days ago. So, and then we bucked it up uh, two days ago. So there you can kind of see what we got. So, we'll get the old brute fired up. And we'll do a little splitting. And uh, see what it looks like compared to one another.
Well, there you have it. We split some of the dried hackberry. Dig a few of them pieces out here. So this was some of the dry hackberry. Uh, the big thing I would say is if you notice, it's pretty clean. Uh, there's not a lot of strings hanging off of it. Whereas if I, see if I can prop this up here. Grab some of this. Here's the green hackberry. If you notice how much stringier the green stuff is. So that's why I said earlier I like to leave the hackberry set for a while before I start splitting it. Uh, it just, to me, it just seems to split a lot easier once it started to dry out a bit. It's not near as stringy. Uh, that second piece of the green hackberry really kind of shocked me. Um, normally you don't get green that one come apart pretty easy I only had one one spot in it that really kind of stuck wanted to stick together and not come apart uh, but that's I guess that's uh, what I got for you hopefully that uh, answers the gentleman's question and uh, I appreciate y'all checking out what's going on here and I'll catch you the next time